All right, so you did a ton of work to get the open house set up perfectly, all the marketing's done, and you had a ton of buyers, went into a bidding war. Now we're at the point where you've accepted an offer and we've gone into contract. There's a couple different ways that the MLS, at least in California, looks at being under contract. So you have your under contract stage and then you have pending. And while you're under contract, that basically means you're still accepting backup offers and it's still up in the air. During that time, time there is a discovery period where the buyer has a chance to be able to walk away we call it a contingency time frame typically it is 17 days right where you have your inspection contingency and then you have your finance contingency but there's also other different types of contingencies. Maybe you have to sell your home in order to be able to buy this new home. All of those are decided when they're making their offer before you accept the offer. So you may counter back. Let's say they want a really long contingency for inspections. You may want a shorter one because you're trying to get this house sold sooner. So all that's negotiated in the beginning. But basically with your inspection contingency, that allows them to be able to send out their home inspector, plumbers, electricians, sometimes people like soil experts, people to inspect the chimney, everything. It could be HVAC experts. So that inspection time frame is when they're going to look over everything with the house. And then at that point, they're going to make a decision of, do we want to ask for a seller credit? Do we want to have them lower the price? Or are we good to move forward as is? So from there, the buyer is going to talk with the realtor and then they're gonna make a decision on what they want, right? Depending on what they find. So if there's cracks in the foundation, they may wanna pull out altogether. As long as they're within the contingency time frame, they can do that. But once they've gotten out of that contingency time frame, they're stuck with the home, right? Unless something huge changes in the, the final walkthrough. The other type of contingency, the big one that we see is finance contingency because most people aren't sitting on a million dollars to buy a property out here. So they're going to have to get a loan. So they have a certain amount of time to be able to get that loan secured. During the underwriting stage, anything could go wrong. There could be something on their credit that shows up, or maybe their income didn't work out the way that they thought it would. So maybe they don't qualify anymore. So usually in California, you're going to have your inspection contingency and your loan contingency. And 17 days is the normal. Sometimes it's longer. If it's a million dollar loan that they're getting, that may need a longer finance contingency and time frame for them to be able to secure their approval. But once all the inspections are done and they have their loan approval in place, they'll drop those contingencies, which basically means they're moving forward. At that point, the home in the MLS or multiple listing service, that gets changed over to pending, which at that point, you're not taking any backup offers, you're moving forward. So once it's in pending stage, it's almost a sure thing unless something crazy happens, which has happened. But at that point in time, you're getting the final clear close for the loan. You're getting the appraisal done. All that stuff is being finished up so that you can draw the final loan docs. Usually your buyer is going to sign them with a notary. And at that point, you're signing your final contract to purchase the home. Before that happens, usually you're going to have a final seller walkthrough, which either the realtor is going to be there or the realtor and the buyer is going to be there. They just want to make sure that the home is in the same condition that it was when they last saw it. Once that's done, you sign, close, and then you're looking at your move out date. Um, the one big thing you want to make sure of is that as long as the contract is in place, let's say it's a 45 day escrow period that you guys elect to go for, make sure you keep your utilities on until that escrow period closes. Once that escrow period is closed, if you're staying there longer, usually we'll shift the utilities over to the buyer. Right? If you're doing a rent back where maybe you need another 30 days to stay in the home, you basically rent the home back from the buyer, but you wanna keep those utilities in your name until the home closes. That is your escrow period. Sometimes it can be a very fast process. Sometimes it can be a difficult and very emotional process. This is usually the scariest time for a buyer and a seller because the initial excitement has already worn off. They were really pumped about the house, but then they saw there's all these problems with it. So this is where most deals, if they're going to fall out, that's where they're gonna fall out during that final negotiation after inspections are done. Once it moves into pending, 
usually from a realtor standpoint, we know, okay, that house is done. It's going to go through. But while it's under contract, while it's under the contingency timeframes, then there's a chance it might fall out. If you're a realtor or if you're a buyer that's looking at this property and you see that it's under contract, there's a chance it could fall out and come back on market. So keep your eyes on it. I've had plenty of them where buyer really liked this home. They saw it was under contract. I continue to follow up with the listing agent for that. Hey, how's it going? What's going on? Okay, it's about to fall out. Cool. We're going to go over there, check it out. Boom. We snatch the home right when it comes out of contract. So there's going to be another one that I'm going to go through, which is the actual backup offers and why it's so important. Even if you do have a property where you've accepted an offer, why it's important to continue to get backup offers. But that's really the big reason is your inspection contingency. There's so many problems that can come up during that time period. You want to make sure that you're continuing to market that property, continuing to get offers if only for a negotiating piece right if you have five people waiting to buy that property and the buyer comes back and says we want fifty thousand dollars in repairs you go back to that buyer and say look i have five other people that are willing to purchase this home at the same price or maybe even a little bit higher so we're not giving any money back for anything so continue to get your backup offers but i'll get into that later all right, so if you enjoyed our content and it was useful, go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe down below. Or if you're looking to buy, sell, or refinance, make sure to reach out to us. You can give us a call. You can send us an email. You can even send me a text message. All of our information is in the description. Look forward to hearing from you.